Hey guys, Shane Storms with RoyalMotorX.com, and today I'm going to show you guys an app review for uh, the application App Hider. Now, this is probably the easiest way to remove bloatware on your device. You know, all of our devices come from the factory filled with bloatware. Verizon, uh, in particular, is one of the worst carriers about that. They're going to put all kinds of bloatware on your application, which takes up space. It just really makes your phone look sloppy. You go into the app drawer and you see all that stuff there. Things like Amazon, Dropbox, and then of course all of their any Verizon applications that come preloaded on the phone itself. And then again, there may be some applications that you just don't want others to have access to. Uh, maybe your gallery includes some photos of yourself that you just don't want everybody else to see. Um, that's understandable. And then you may have some documents that are on here that are important uh, that are also private and you wouldn't want people to be able to see those either. One thing I like about App Hider is that uh, the things are, the apps that you place in there are still accessible, but you do need a pin in order to access those. So we'll go ahead and open up App Hider and show you guys how it works. Okay, so this is no hidden apps. We'll just hit the plus sign to add the apps that we'd like to hide. So we can go in here and take away our Amazon or Amazon Kindle, Audible, you know, all the bloatware that would normally come with our device. Dropbox, Flipboard, IMDB, NFL Mobile, uh, anything that you would want to remove from your device. And we'll go ahead and hit save. You're also able to remove system applications, uh, which you would not be able to do without root. Otherwise, this this does require a root, but you would not be able to do that without an application like the File Explorer. And a lot of times, removing system applications uh, can get messy, but this makes everything nice and easy. So we'll go ahead and click Save, and it'll go ahead and hide those apps. We'll grant super user permission. Okay, and we will set a pin. One, two, three, four. Continue. One, two, three, four. You probably want to make it something more difficult to figure out than that. Okay, so from now on, it shows you here your hidden applications. If you want to access these applications, you would go into your app hider and enter your pin code. And then uh, there you have your hidden applications. So in the settings, you can disable the pin protection. You can change your pin code or retrieve a pin code if you've forgotten it. You can clear your history, uh, change app name. Uh, so if you want this to be something other than App Hider, so that's App Hider is pretty obvious as to what that application does. If you wanted to change that to something else, so that whoever picks up your phone, uh, they're trying to look for maybe your gallery and something that you didn't want them to see or whatever. You can change this so that that's not obviously sticking out like, oh, I wonder what this guy's trying to hide. Uh, you can change the name there. Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up for uh, the App Hider application. It's very simple to use, and it is a very useful application uh, for removing those unwanted applications, the bloat applications that are automatically included when you buy a phone. Uh, and also it just hides anything that you wouldn't want just anybody to see. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the near future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.